Greetings everyone, in Bungie's live tour of the reef, they reveal to us how exactly we will upgrade our old armour and weapons to the new stats. So, the max light level is now 34. In order to upgrade old armour, you will need a new item called Etheric Light, which can be obtained through endgame activities, such as the Prison of Elders, Trials of Osiris, Iron Banner and Nightfalls. The best part about this is that you can upgrade any legendary armour to reach level 34. This means that you can wear Vanguard, Crucible and Faction armour and still be level 34. This also means that anyone without the House of Wolves expansion can hit level 34, although it may take longer to gather the materials. Once you receive Aetheric Light, as well as the other required materials such as Glimmer, Spirit Bloom, etc., all you have to do is activate a nerd that will appear on the left of the skill tree, called Ascend, and it will instantly upgrade your gear. The same process applies to upgrading weapons to 365 attack. For those wondering, the Mythoclast can be upgraded to 365 attack, and don't worry, your progress will not be reset this time around. For exotic gear, you will need an exotic shard instead of Aetheric Light. Aetheric Light is only needed for legendary gear. House of Wolves weapons and armour will no longer have damage or defence upgrades, instead they will just have the necessary main perks. Weapons will start off with 331 attack and will require Aetheric Light to upgrade them to 365 attack. This means that upgrading weapons and armour will be less of a grind as you don't need to get those last few damage or defence upgrades to max out your gear, you only work for the main perks. Another thing that players will be pleased about is reforging weapons. Weapons bought from the Vanguard, Crucible and Faction vendors can now also be reforged at the Gunsmith. Reforging weapons will require 1 Mert of Light, 3 Weapon Parts and 250 Glimmer. Now this is just one of the many things that Bungie have done right with this expansion and I'll be covering everything else in an upcoming video. I hope you don't mind, I thought I'd make this its own video, that way it's easier to consume the news, rather than mashing all the new information into one big video. Keep an eye on my channel as I'll have more videos on the way very soon, going over every single detail revealed about the reef and all the new changes coming to Destiny in the House of Wolves. In case you missed the stream and want to watch the full thing for yourself, I've uploaded the full stream to my YouTube channel and there'll be a link at the end of this video and in the description box below if you want to check it out. So thank you very much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon Guardians.